Michael podcast. Bring him friends. First of all, I am um, I am the mother of um, Aaron Michael Kenefick, who was a Marine killed during the Ganjka ambush in 2009, tied to two Living Medal of Honor recipients, Marine Dakota Meyer and uh, Army Captain Will Swenson. I'm also the daughter of a Marine, and I am myself an Army veteran that comes from a long line of uh, military service in every uniform. And um, I'm a mother of two daughters and a grandmother of seven children, grandchildren. And I'm just, I'm just a mother and um, an ordinary per- person trying to make extraordinary differences through my uh, speaking and my research and, uh, and writing and, and keeping the spotlight on the dark corners going on uh, against Americans and humanity as a whole. So thank you for, uh, and I, and I always, I'm humble. I'm a child of God and very humble. So. I appreciate you doing this. It's yes. really, it's really nice to talk to you. I got to ask you, as I've been meaning to ask you, dad was in the Marine. Why not? Why not the Marines? Why are you in the army? No, it's a, it's a crazy story. And my father asked me that too. Um, I grew up in Buffalo, New York and, um, you know, I was a young teenager right out of high school, and I took two buses across town for a job because that was the economy at the time in Buffalo. And I ran across a girlfriend from high school, and I was working in a little candy shop from 10 in the morning till 10 at night, six days a week. And I saw her at the uh, bus stop one night. And she said, I just signed up for the army and you want to go in and the buddy system, I'm going to Europe. And I said, yes, I want to go tomorrow and check it out. Because at the time, me growing up, I'm 64 now, there were not a lot of um, uh, advantages for kids unless you went to college. And my parents couldn't afford to send us to college. And uh, when my father got out of the Marine Corps, we lived in the city. So uh, I was an enterprising young woman, and I thought, you know, I always wanted to go to Europe and travel and see the world. So that's what I did. And my father, he said, I'm not mad that you're going in the service. I'm happy, but why not the Marines? Why I really didn't give it any thought. And had I, I would have, but there you go. Mm. So it's your girlfriend's fault. Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> it's not really a fault. It's because of that. The rest of life followed. So we're always where we're supposed to be, whether we realize it or not. At least I made a difference. I signed on that dotted line to protect the Constitution of the United States of America. And I do so whether I'm in uniform or not until this very day. That's what I tell everybody when I go into bars. I am still protected. So I should get a free drink. I should get a free drink. No. <laughs> oh well it's good we can laugh over it <laughs> oh god Susan, what did you what did you join us uh originally like what was your mls i was the 71 lima but i was told when i took the test that i would make a great detective and cop and they wanted me to go in as an mp and they they mm-hmm. said that i scored very high and that i'd uh i'm really good at Connecting the dots, which is proven uh, at this time in my life now and throughout my life, you know. I'm a networker and a dot connector. And I just want to say, in a few days, the Marine Corps ball's coming up and the birthday of the Marine Corps. So to all my Marine families, ooh-ah, Semper Fi. <laughs> <laughs> 